Julian is a hero, a dubious honour I am sure. He fights for democracy by revealing official secrets and conversations behind the screen. For without facts, how can the truth be found and how can informed decisions be made by the people? The very allowance of the idea of classified secrets is a corruption of democracy. However, it is the modus operandi of our present undemocratic system, conveniently there to hide anything it wants to under the guise of protecting our national interests, we are told. How easy this makes it to manipulate the people. In a democracy, there should be no secrets. Any truly democratic government needs to be completely transparent. Why should the people not be involved directly with their own interests? national or otherwise. It turns out that Julian's WikiLeaks reveals the answer to this. The national interests do not support the people. They support private interests. The national bit is just there to provide the excuse to hide the truth. And war is the worst example of this. All, war, all wars start from a lie, I've heard Julian say. War is also a very convenient method to suspend and modify people's democratic rights and to restrict information, without which it is easy to manufacture a war. Catch 22. These days, whenever I hear a Western leader speaking in praise of democracy or espousing the right of journalistic freedom, as in the recent case of arrested Belarusian journalist Roman Potasevich, I am revolted. I want to shout Julian Assange at them for their hypocritical double talk. It's a shame that no journalist will do this, although the example of Chris Hedges illustrates why they don't. This double talk is also illustrated by the recent report from the UN regarding China and its treatment of the Uyghurs. Western governments jumped on this, espousing the merits of the UN. However, when Niels Metzler, UN rapporteur on torture, demanded the immediate release and compensation of children, the British government said the UN should mind its own business. These people have only their own rotten interests in mind, and none in democracy. The world needs children. Yes. Yes.